I'm really into this, in this program, and emotionally what would tear me apart is if I wasn't able to be with the guys every day. Um, I really enjoy being together with the guys every day. I was still able to go into the weight room. I was still able to be out on the field with them and teach the younger guys. We had a sophomore transfer, uh, Henry Toa Toa, who came in from uh, Burbank uh, in Sacramento. Okay. Um, Luther and Burbank out of Sacramento, and you know he wasn't familiar with the program really at all, so I, I, I really gave him the learning ropes and put him under my wing to teach him. and. Uh, a junior, Brennan Riso, who uh, was a call-up last year um, as a sophomore, who um, you know was following in footsteps and was playing next to me the first two games before I got hurt. And uh, really, it's just the tradition and everything that goes along with De La Salle that uh, keeps me going. And I'm really into the history of De La Salle, and I really am one of the people that takes pride in the program. And I just really, like when I was playing, I really wanted to make the alumni proud. I wanted to make the people around me proud. And especially like my family, the name on my back and the name on the front of my jersey. You know, you, you ask yourself, like, why me? Like, why, is, why does this happen to me? Especially me, it was my last year of football ever. I, I didn't plan on playing football after high school. It's my last, you know, out of all of these years, this is my only injury of playing football since I was seven years old. And, uh, but I think everything happens for a reason. And I think God puts us in these situations to build us as people and gives us challenges that he wouldn't give us a challenge that, you know, we weren't meant to, to deal with. So what made you say, I'm going to put my uniform on every game and, and go out there? Uh, my main motivation last year was Alex Colon. Uh, Alex Colon is alumni from 2015 who he is a very prideful person and he suited up every game you know no matter what after his surgery he said he was so mad because the trainers wouldn't let him suit up one game after his surgery and uh, you know I really took from that and I said I want to do that I want to do the same thing he did I know how he influenced our team by us seeing him suited up and I wanted to do the same thing and how proud of you are, are you of these younger guys who have raised their level from the, the early part of the season to now I am so proud of all the underclassmen in my class uh, for everything that they've done I am so proud to see them develop, especially you know, since we're a freshman. Out of all the work that we put in in the summer and in the off season, and out on the practice field every single day, it's a 365-day sport. Um, you know, with studies and staying focused, and being a Spartan isn't just on the football field; it's outside the football field too. So it's at school, it's carrying yourself when you're out in public, it's with your family, and I'm just so proud uh, to see these guys develop as men.